Good morning or good afternoon, Cardinals. <laughs> I noticed the clock had changed. I'm Alexander Agnetti, President of the State University of New York at Plattsburgh. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to our 2023 Spring Commencement for the School of Business and Economics. Please remain standing for our national anthem sung by the Plattsburgh State Gospel Choir. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose brush stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh Please be seated. As an institution that takes pride in conscious efforts toward building a more inclusive community, we must take time to acknowledge that our campus is situated on land that belongs to the Iroquois, Western Abenaki, Mohican, and Mohawk peoples. We honor the original caretakers of this and surrounding land and offer respect to the Haudenosaunee who are still here. This land and body water, known as Lake Champlain, was inhabited and nurtured by these peoples for thousands of years. We must do the same to nurture and protect this sacred land. This statement is a mere fraction of the steps needed to fight against systemic indigenous erasure. We are indeed settlers of their land, and we strive to be accountable by remembering this history and cultivating respect in our relationships with our indigenous neighbors and their land. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce our distinguished platform guests by row. I ask that each guest stand when their name is called and that you please hold your applause until all have been introduced. First, Teba Zim, president of the Student Association and a member of the University Council. Pilar Baladar Herrero, member of the class of 2023 and today's featured student speaker. Dr. Ann Herzog, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. Matthew Veach, First Vice President of the Plattsburgh Alumni Association. James Coffey, a member of the SUNY Plattsburgh University Council. Martin Mannix, Jr., member of the University Council. Sidney Garrett, member of the University Council. Heidi Kelly, Chair of the University Council. Michael Cashman, a member of the University C Council and Supervisor of the Town of Plattsburgh. Corey Jackson, Interim Vice President for Enrollment and Student Success. Allison Hurd, Vice President, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Todd Marovic, Interim Vice President, Administration and Finance. Dr. Denise Samar, Dean of the School of Education, Health, and Human Services. Dr. Brian Neuruther, Interim Dean of the School of Business and Economics. Dr. Meg Pearson, Dean of the School of Arts and Sciences. Anne Whitmore Hansen, Vice President of Institutional Advancement. Dr. Sandra Rizak, Chair and Associate Professor of Sociology and Presiding Officer of the Faculty. And Dr. Ray Carmen, Associate Professor of Political Science and Chair of the Faculty Senate. Please join me in welcoming our platform guests.
We would not be here today if it were not for the scholars, the teachers, and the mentors who have supported our graduates throughout their entire educational journey. I would like for us all to take a moment to recognize the faculty and professional staff who guided this class through a rigorous course of academic study and supported them throughout their entire university experience. Would the faculty and professional staff please stand? Graduates, this is your opportunity to show your appreciation. Now I want to turn my attention to our purpose today, celebrating our graduates. You are what today is all about. I want to thank you for attending SUNY Plattsburgh. We are an incredibly better place because of your presence on this campus. This semester, much of your experience was as it was in your very fierce days, but most of your time in higher education has been incredibly tough. The class of 2023 bore as many challenges as any in recent memory. For most of you, a shift in remote learning took place in the spring of your very first year. COVID testing, vaccinations, masking, and more, I'm sure you remember, became a part of your daily life here for years. The university that you experienced changed from that day, as it did for all of us. Only this year has a return to a regular rhythm take, taken place. No one in a century faced the difficulties you have of a pandemic, the shift in expectations, and the dramatic altering of your coursework and university life. You have persevered, you have overcome, which is cause for incredible celebration. I ask everyone to give these graduates a very special round of applause. Congratulations. Each of you has demonstrated quite clearly what Cardinal Strong means. Your peers here today and those watching by live stream commend you and celebrate with you. We are very, very proud of you. Many of you arrived with a general idea to a possible career path. Others didn't know what you wanted to do, but you knew that a university education was the key to your ultimate success. So as you leave today, you are educated and equipped with critical thinking skills that have helped prepare you. You are career ready thanks to your own dedication and hard work, along with all of those who have invested and helped you. I also want to commend you for your activism and attention on matters of equity, belonging, and social justice. Your role in growing this effort has been critical to this university. I have great confidence that you will continue to contribute to make our, better, our world a better place for yourselves, for your families, and for generations to come. This is what Cardinals do. And I know that you will take the opportunities and experience you've had to achieve much. We are so very proud of you, all of you who are about to graduate, and especially our first generation students who are graduating today. At this moment, in this gymnasium, in front of your closest family and friends, I want you to know how very proud I am of your accomplishments. Congratulations again to each and every one of you. At this time, I would request that Provost Herzog join me at the lectern. We will now present the candidates for degrees because we believe each candidate should be formally and publicly recognized on this day of celebration. Each will cross the stage to be congratulated. Dr. Wendy Gordon, Professor of History, and Wanda Carroll, Lecturer in Supply Chain Management and International Business, will announce each graduate's name. Members of the University Council will present diploma covers to each of the candidates as their names are announced. Will the candidates for Master of Science in Data Analytics please stand? President Inyeti, on behalf of the faculty of the State University of New York at Plattsburgh, I am pleased to recommend these candidates be granted the master's degrees which they have earned.
On the recommendation of the outstanding faculty and by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of the State University of New York, I hereby confer upon you the degree each of you have earned with all the rights, responsibilities, and privileges pertaining thereunto. Congratulations. Please be seated. The recipients of these degrees will now come forward and they will be joined on the stage by Dr. Rohit Rampal, Professor of Management Information Systems. Jo Huang Beck. Maria Fernanda Pina Musso. Uh, Peter Puglia. Okay, Peter Puglia. <laughs> Johan Silvanus. Hyunte Daniel An. Arietta Bashiri. Farida Abdul Qadir. <laughs> Sean Malamud. Christopher Mendoza. Jacob May. Doll. Oscar Sedino.
Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degrees please stand? <laughs> President Agnetti, on behalf of the faculty of the State University of New York at Plattsburgh, I am pleased to recommend that these candidates be granted the bachelor's degrees they have earned. Graduates, on the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of the State University of New York, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science with all the rights, privileges pertaining thereunto. Congratulations. Please be seated. <laughs> The recipients of these degrees will now come forward by individual row. Sarah Beck. Samuel Robinson. Sebastian Rojas. Robert Soto. Justin Higgins. Joshua Johnson. Matthew Hernandez. David Christian Harris. Lucas Di Giovanni. Jacob Buell. Olivia Gleason Valentin. Just met your parents. Elizabeth Ann Onser. Shakira Seville. Ahmed Metwali, cum laude. Dinesh Reddy. Brian Yu. Hana Nishizawa, magna cum laude. Yuka Mizuno, magna cum laude. Mila Yuki, cum laude. Emily LePage, cum laude. Pilar Balader Herrero. John Guzak. Christian Ott. Andrew Veet. Paul Avila. Sean Ronan. Sean Raikana. Uliana Radulescu. Nathaniel Ganpa.
Benjamin Morby. Rocco J. Pusino III. Vladimir Perry. Jan Hausishan. Jillian Cicada. Magna Cum Laude. Yeah. Kelly Yeah, Magna Cum Laude. Anna Kamensky, Summa Cum Laude. Veronica Barber, Cum Laude. Amanda Johnston, cum laude. Brendan O'Connor, magna cum laude. Malin Jerez, summa cum laude. Alexander Gracie. Stephanie DeAngelis. Ian McNeil. Liam Ackerman. Ethan Gaboff. Michael Barbagallo. Sean Corbett. Byron Wing, magna cum laude. Sharina Ariana Phillips. Michaela Johnson. Ryan Hogg, cum laude. Mitchell Hale, magna cum laude. Adam Tredowitz, cum laude. Ronnie Padilla. Jenner Rigoberto Velasquez. Cum laude. Erica Magallanes Rodriguez. Evan Gabriel. Ryan Bone. Sabrina Burgess. Angus Yushiro. Ashley Davis. Anna Dean. Angelina Soberal. Elise Franson. Margaret Pine, summa cum laude. Gabriella Lopez.
Sophia Augustine Cum Laude. Brendan Dolan. Priscilla De Ferrari. Bisrat Baharu Abraham, summa cum laude. Osamura me omoge a akbar. Cum laude. Shamar Thompson, summa cum laude. Muhammad Fahat. Yeah. Nicholas Ramirez. Jacob Modri, cum laude. Angelique Ange Hall, cum laude. Zachary Khan. Abdul Rakib Syed. George Hearn III, magna cum laude. Cambry Schliff. Angel Gabriel Mercedes. Christopher Navarro. <laughs> Carolyn Noya. <laughs> Jessica Brucato. <laughs> Nicolette Manzella. James Wolfgang Schultz. Adam Brialt. Andrew Lamorta. John Racine. Karina Vizcaino, cum laude. <laughs> Stephanie Jabut. <laughs> Brianna Alvarez. <laughs> Kiara Gomez. <laughs> Aaron McArdle. Leslie Alvarado, cum laude. Rosalie Gonzalez. Sean Lemieux. Madison Romano. Jaylene Nicole Villegas. <laughs> Jesu Juan Odiemi. <laughs> Albert Tejada. Poppy Joof. <laughs> Colin Bragowski. <laughs> Christian Pizzolongo. <laughs> Elliot Howard. <laughs> Jordan, 
Jordan Hood. Mohammed Fahat. Eric Yusufu. Sheriff Kante. Joe Young. Matthew Piccinini. Connor Brody. Joshua Gilman. Thomas Scotta Lavino. Nevon Pedro. Emma Bleakley. <laughs> Alyssa DeFelice. <laughs> Kelly Versailles. <laughs> Nitty Borod. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, Cardinals. It is a tradition at SUNY Plattsburgh for a member of the graduating class to be our featured speaker at this momentous occasion. Senior Pilar Baladar Herrero is a marketing and art studio dual major from Las Palmas, Spain. P Pilar was born in Gran Canaria, a small Spanish island off the coast of Morocco, and she has been an active part of campus life. She has served as the Chief Marketing Officer and then President of the Campus Chapter of the American Marketing Association. She has been the Coordinator of the Arts for the Student Association and served as the Chair of the Arts Acquisition Board and was Marketing Student Representative for the School of Business and Economics. Please join me in welcoming, welcoming Pilar as today's featured speaker. Pilar. Dear parents, professors, guests, and classmates, I hope you all brought tissues here today. Today, I am reminded of a quote by the great Maya Angelou. She once said, I can be changed by what happens to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. As we sit here today, I see us as the living proof of the truth behind these words. I look around this room, and I see truly inspiring individuals. I see businessmen and women, CEOs, marketeers, economists. I see brokers, accountants, and hopefully some people who would take us out of the next recession. 
But in each and every one of you, I see resilience. In 2019, before we left our homes to come here, we were told all these amazing things about college, that they would be the best years of our life, that we would make memories we will never forget, that we would find ourselves and grow as people. Now, I don't know about you guys, but a global pandemic never came up in that conversation for me. <laughs> our very first year of college, that perfect picture we envisioned was shattered and none of us thought we would be able to glue the pieces back together. But that is why today is a day of celebration, a day where we commemorate how, in the midst of all the chaos, when we were feeling lost and the uncertainty of our future was almost unbearable, we were still able to find small things that made a big difference, things that kept us going. Because we told ourselves, no one will determine our own future but us. So let us celebrate all those open book exams, those last minute improvised projects that were a success, the assignments we could submit at 11.59 p.m. Let us celebrate all those Fridays where we were able to wake up with no alarms in the morning. I know those kept me going. I wanna take a moment to thank our professors and faculty members too for their resilience. Not only did they manage to transition their entire teaching system to online learning in a few days, but they also learned the hard way that the Dropbox worked just fine, we just needed more time to finish the assignment. Thank you, we couldn't have done it without you. A lot of things have changed in the past four years. I don't walk around without a mask inside my pocket anymore, and I know many of you can probably say the same thing. In the spring of 2020, we were all sent home. In the fall, we were allowed back, but we have to have masks on inside and outside of the classrooms. In 2021, masks are only mandatory indoors and in crowded areas, and we still had to stay six feet apart from each other. Now, they remain optional. Gradually, these restrictions have decreased, but there is still a lot of work to be done to feel as connected as we once were. The class of 2023 is the first graduating class whose entire four years of college have been impacted by COVID-19. We are making history here today. And even though we may not be able to put that in our resumes, we know these experiences have changed us. They have made us stronger. We know we are just one call away from reaching our goals, as crazy as that may seem because we have made connections in these past four years that will remain with us forever. Hardware graduates became presidents, MIT graduates sent a man to the moon, and SUNY Plattsburgh graduates, well, we'll think of something. But in the meantime, we will celebrate. Fellow graduates, we knew that when we chose to come to SUNY Plattsburgh, we chose to be part of a community of loving people. We found people who cared people who made sure our heads stayed above water. We found friends that we now call family. As we move forward and close this chapter of our lives, let us carry the lessons we have learned during our time at SUNY Plattsburgh with us. Let us stay true to ourselves. Let us stay true to our values. And let us never be reduced by the adversities we may face, despite how much they may change us. Congratulations, class of 2023, we did it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pilar. It is now my pleasure to introduce Teba Azim, president of the SUNY Plattsburgh Student Association. Teba? This was clearly not meant for a short person like me, so sorry. Good afternoon, Cardinals. With your matriculation into SUNY Plattsburgh came with its membership into the Student Association. You will no longer be students. You will now take on an important role to our current student body as role models. They will look to you for leadership, success, 
and most of all, a sense of passion for this beautiful place that is SUNY Plattsburgh. The place that now you can call proudly your alma mater. Together as cardinals, it's time for us to leave this nest, spread our wings, and soar onwards. Today, I'm honored to have been conferred the rights by virtue of the Office of Student Association President to help mark this passage for the class of 2023. Please rise. On the count of three, please join me in moving your tassel from right side of your motor boards to the left over your hearts, the true home, your alma mater, SUNY Plattsburgh. One, two, three. Congratulations, class of 2023. We are so very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, Teba. Graduates, you may, uh, uh, hold on. You're not, well, uh, sorry, alums, please sit down. <laughs> it's now my pleasure to introduce Matthew Beach, a 1994 alumnus of SUNY Plattsburgh and the first vice president of the Plattsburgh Alumni Association. Matt? Thank you, President Amieti. On behalf of the Plattsburgh Alumni Association, it is my pleasure to congratulate the class of 2023. The Plattsburgh Alumni Association is the official organization of the college's more than 72,000 alumni. Our mission is to enhance alumni connections with the university, to actively support the SUNY Plattsburgh student experience, especially with regard to career and life preparation. I speak for my colleagues on the alumni board when I offer you our sincere congratulations. We are most hopeful that you will continue your involvement with your alma mater. You have an important role as alumni of SUNY Plattsburgh. We hope you will help us to ensure students following in your footsteps will also enjoy the Plattsburgh experience we are celebrating today. Stay in touch and come back for your first homecoming weekend, October 13th and 14th, 2023. Congratulations and welcome to the Plattsburgh Alumni Association. Let me end this ceremony by wishing each of our graduates much success in your careers and your lives. You enter today as students. You now leave as graduates, members of our proud alumni group. I encourage you to take the time, see a professor or a mentor who is here today before you leave. And again, my plan is to find you outside, so get your cameras ready. I would also like to thank the following. Our faculty marshal, Dr. Mohammed Gaber, SUNY Distinguished Service Professor of Accounting. <laughs> Our bagpipers, the Montreal RCMP, Pipes and Drums. Thank you. <laughs> and the many faculty and professional staff who volunteered to assist today. And, not least, to our guests, Thank you for attending today. Your presence is deeply appreciated by all of our graduates. Please wait until the graduates and faculty and platform party have left. You may then go outside and meet your graduate. Congratulations, Cardinals. You've done it. We're so proud of you. Go forth, change the world. We can't wait to hear what you do. Thank you.